Okay, guys, as promised, today I'm going to show the uh, wannabe uh, Pac-Man uh, contraption. But first, let me just point out a few things. Uh, as if it could not reach its nadir, setting this thing up was a nightmare. I can't imagine non-modders doing this. So let me just point out. So it has 2.4 gigahertz built into it, but when you start setting it up, it tells you, oh, uh, you need two 1.6 uh, battery, uh, 1.6 volt batteries, and uh, that's not included. So let's just say you're a non-RK person who doesn't know how to set anything up. You don't even know what 1.6 is. Okay, so you'll have to go pick up 1.6. If you don't want to do that, they promise that you can just connect it through the USB. Oh, not a problem. You plug USB and you're done, right? No, it's not that simple at all. So when you, uh, so as you're looking at the directions, the direction says that they will give you, they give you this micro here. Um, where's the cord at? This is the thing here. This is what they give you. Now they give you the HDMI cord. Okay, you connect that to your TV. Most people know how to do that. Then they give you a micro USB that they say connect to a power source. So on the other end is a regular USB. So most people, their power source of USB is usually gonna be their TV since the HDMI has to go in there anyway. Only problem is, look at it. Let me switch cameras. Look how short it is. You can't even um, sit it, even on this high speaker here. I can't even, it's just not, it's, this is too lightweight. It does, it's not weighted enough to actually stay down. So uh, this cord is so short, it just hangs down. Okay, so after you get all that straightened out, so after you get all that straightened out, then you need to connect the big giant boy. Okay, here he is again the Pac-Man. So you got to connect this bad baby. Let me just show him real quick again for people who didn't watch. You should watch my other video first though. However, that's him. He's three feet tall and he's 14 inches, the um, 14 inches uh, wide on both sides average. Okay. So anyway, uh, that's how he looks. Okay. So after you get that done, then you need to connect this bad boy. As I said, um, so you plug in, uh, so, uh, one, one problem though, you can't do it because they tell you that they don't provide, a, um, micro USB cable. Okay. I'm sure most regular people have micro USB cables lying around. I didn't have a micro USB cable until about two months ago myself. So problem is this, when you plug in a micro USB cable, Who's going to have a six feet micro USB cable around? Very few people. So you got to go find either a, a six foot micro USB cable or you're going to have to plug it into the wall um, or, or find another power source to plug the micro USB into a regular USB so that that can be plugged into a power source. Okay, so basically what's going on here is I don't really know what's going on with one up and this thing. Why didn't they just provide the cables that you needed? It doesn't make any logical sense to me. You think they would have learned this from the Japanese from the 70s. Consumers don't like to go out and purchase additional items. That's why they provide even the cheapest batteries. But you don't say, oh, you got to go out and buy a micro USB. You got to go out and buy batteries. Oh, and I'm not done yet. In order to make the base work, um, you also uh, have, to, have to provide of uh, two AA batteries. So you gotta get that too. So there's two AA batteries, there's 1.6 batteries, there's a micro USB cable. Hey, how you doing? Um, so as crazy as that is, I'm gonna now start this and demonstrate for you. Um, hey, um, I would ask you to hold this, but um, I'll, tr I'll try to get it this way. All right, here it goes. I'm gonna demonstrate this for you now. All right, let's put this on the floor. 
And uh, let's, and here he is on the floor. You're supposed to put your foot on this to hold him, okay? And then um, here's the TV. So I'm gonna start with the very first one. I'm gonna turn this slide off here. And I'm gonna start with the very first one, which is uh, Pac-Mania. Okay, now as you see how I can't hold it? Even when you hold it down, it's hard to control because this thing, just look, see what it does? It does not weighted, so you can't really hold it down. You almost have to take your feet and put your foot here to block it so you can hold it and it won't wobble. Okay, so, okay, needless to say, my very low expectations of this, which was pretty close to hell, has not even been met. So there you go. No criticism. I'm just saying my lowest expectations weren't even met. But let's see how the game plays. Okay, here's Pac-Mania. Another thing that they make you do, let me show you, is you have to bend down to hit the button each time. So if you're a little kid and you like bending a lot, that's fine. But if you're in a doubt, you don't want to bend, 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 bend. If I want to bend, I'll go into the gym and do some exercises. So anyway, with that being said, let me hit this button. Okay. Then it says, press A to continue. Oh, I got to bend down again. Okay. I'll press it again. Now, hopefully that should do it. No. Nope. I got to bend down again and hit this button. Okay. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Please select your world, good enough. Oh, okay. So here we go, guys. I gotta hold it here. And I'm gonna give it a rating from zero to 10 on if you can actually use this thing for this particular game. Whoa, uh, uh, how do you jump on this thing? Okay. Uh, Okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, so, uh, now, nah. mm -mm, that's not working. But let me try it again. Let me at least get a power pellet out of this thing. Come here, eh, get down there. Okay, I can get that at least. You see, the problem is, is that it just, the wobbliness is, it makes you crazy. Okay, yeah. All right, I'll rate this a three out of 10 for cuteness, but that's it. Okay, let me bend down here and hold this button down for five seconds, so we'll go to the next game. So you gotta stay bent for five seconds because you have to hold the button for five seconds. So you gotta stay bent over for five seconds also. Okay, let's go to Dig Dug. Now, there is one positive thing out of this whole arcade fiasco they give you some really nice games pac-man dig dug i mean excuse me pac pac mania dig dug pac-man mappy new rally x versus old rally x i guess i don't know hmm. uh galaga now so far all of these games have been included pretty much on almost every game this is a cool one, no? Rolling Thunder. Now that, I actually like that game. Now, awesome. Up until now, I thought the Galaga 88 was only available on my little uh, Counter K Galaga that all of us jumped on last week. But now they're including it on this. Xervius or Xervius, Xervius probably, and Dragon Spirit. I'm not sure what Dragon Spirit is. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you get ten games. Now that's not bad. So that is one positive thing. Let's go to this game now. Let me spin down again. Oh, hit the A button. Let me just stay down here. <laughs> I'm not supposed to stay down here. So you got to bend down three times, or if you you remember now. Somehow, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna hold it this way with my foot. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work because that's the way the game was set up. 
Nope, I can't do it that way. It will not, I can't control it. I have to hold it to the side for support. So let's try it again. I mean, the games look good. I'm trying to give some positive. And RK1UP, if you're watching this, don't fault me for criticism because I gave you some really great reviews on the pinballs. And I was one of the first ones to get it. So I'm not against you as a company. My whole arcade was built on your machines. But don't think that I'm gonna sit there and not tell the truth too, when it's a disaster. Uh, come on, okay. So I'd give, I'd give this, I guess, a four. I don't know how you, how you would be able to hold this and use that thing that blows up the balloons. Maybe I would drop this down to a two after all, because let me see. Let me, okay, so you have to use this. Somehow you have to use this control and then use this button at the same time. But because, well, I guess you could do it. Um, I am, I'm holding the phone, so in all fairness, I am holding the phone. All right, let's go to the next game. This is a much longer video than I planned on. Sorry, guys. It was just so frustrating to get the thing working. Okay, next game is... Pac-Man, how does that work? And I'm only doing these quick. Uh, that didn't go right. Let's try that again. Thought I switched it over to Pac-Man. Okay, let's try that again. Whoa, so that's why the joystick moved it. Okay, Pac-Man. Okay, all right. Now, th there's no buttons on this. Hopefully this one should be better. Oh, shoot, I gotta give support with my other leg. Already I can tell that's not gonna work because it's too wobbly. I couldn't go up, I tried to go up, and I can't. I'm not understanding where they got... Okay, you know what? That's a two. I'm not even going any farther. Let's go to the next game. I'm not sure if I played Nappy before. Okay. You know what? Let's move on. You can tell where this is going. Next game. In fact, okay, let me review the games you guys probably want to see. Rally X, Galaga 88, Rolling Thunder, and probably Dragon Spirit. Okay, Ooh, there's a lot of work to use this thing. Man, I wonder if I can sit down and use it. Maybe that's, a, maybe that's the trick. Let me see. Maybe that might help. And then it's kind of have it in front of me and sit down. So now I'm, I'm sitting down so I can hold it and then I'll see if that makes a difference. Okay. Now how do you do the jump? Down helps a little bit. I should see if I can get this back some. I need to come back some for you guys. So you can get the whole screen. Uh, that's not terrible. There's possibilities with this one. Let's give this one a five. All right, moving on. Next. OK, 
Okay, Rally X actually did look good. But you know, guys, what you could do, though, um, there is, you could take this apart and mod it and use these games and something else. So I'm just saying, I mean, for 99 bucks, it might be worth the 10 games. I mean, well, I mean, I mean, most of you guys have already modded stuff. You own these games like 50 times already. But I'm just saying that's a possibility. Maybe throw it in your uh, $50 Galaga that you got last week. Okay, so Rolling Thunder. I want to save that one. No, let's do Rolling Thunder. This one I'm interested in seeing myself, actually, because I used to like Rolling Thunder. Funny how some games are wider screen and some games are a little bit more narrow. Okay, let's start this. So I'm gonna have to be able to Okay. <laughs> Guys, settle it. Sorry. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Let me see if I can switch the cameras here. Let's see if I can set this down. No, that's not gonna work. Let me reverse the camera. I want to see if I can get this to work with, so I can hold it and be more fair. Okay, now I'm holding it with two hands. Wow. Now, I do like the way that you can move this head, though. You see this head here? You can move it back and forth. That's actually kind of good. Okay, uh, this one, not bad. I will give this one a six, the highest one so far. How I could possibly be in the top five is beyond me. They must have a very low uh, criteria. Guys, get out of here. Hey, I'm recording a video. Uh, let's see, next is Galaga 88. Move this over some. Make sure you guys can see it. Looks like you can. Galaga 88. Now this is nice because you can because you can play Galaga 88 on a big screen. Uh, not roll the thunder. As you see, this can be very sensitive too. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, here we go. Uh, you want to start? Okay, here we go, guys. Galaga 88. Now, Galaga 88 is awesome, but how does it work on here if you don't need it? Hmm. Very sensitive, I know that much. But yeah, it's very sensitive. Wow. And I'm not this. I'm not that. Let me try that. I gotta try that one again. Alright, let's try that again. Right, one more time. Come on. Let's get this together. Let's get a higher rating for once. Controls on this. I mean, you could learn 
Like, remember the first time we played Nintendo with uh, Pat? For th those of you um, old enough to know this, and it was like learning controls all over again instead of the joystick. Maybe it's like that. I'm trying to give a positive spin. I'm trying to be fair. You know, maybe it's just like just relearning a new type of control. And I, and I think that's fair. You know, I don't want to say that this is impossible because I don't think that's true. I think you can learn how to control it. <laughs> okay, observe it is. experience per se um, so last one dragon spirit and then this oh, I don't want to say nightmare so let's just say this dream will end nope I knew it was gonna be sensitive that's why I didn't press it again okay here we go last game guys and then I give my final thoughts Come on. This, this, these controls are definitely not working for this game. Let's see. Try to get used to it. Oh, no. No. This is a two and a half for this one. Okay. Final thoughts time. Oh, let me switch this. Okay, guys. I've got all my modern stuff out in the area. So if you've seen a lot of messes because I've been working on this arcade to finish it. I still have, I still have to do the, uh, the walls and there's some modding stuff I'm still trying to work on. I don't, didn't turn anything on. Okay, so final thoughts. Uh, well, it's probably going to meet your lowest expectations. It is what it is. I mean, what can you say? You know, I mean... It is what it is. A uh, kid probably could like it. Man, you know, it doesn't seem very durable. I like. I don't really think that that can last very long, though, with kids. I, I really don't. I, mean, I think that thing might break in a month. Um, the fact that they don't include anything. I mean, that they that they have so many things missing. Not just one thing. Not just two things, but three things. Potential four. It's like, really? I mean, you're charging 149 retail for this already. So you couldn't afford a $2 cable to make sure that people can actually play this when they get it and not running to the store to get cables that they might not even know or heard of before? I mean, micro USB is not something that, you know, the regular consumer necessarily deal with, and especially if you need a six-foot one. Because most people own these power things, 
they don't own six foot extensions, you know? So anyway, not to mention the looks or lack of looks. It doesn't look like Pac-Man at all. I mean, I already, I went over this before, but that, that does not look like Pac-Man. You know what this looks like? The very first mind games where they actually like, I'm not mind games, but like, remind me of like the original Amiga games where it's like they called it a, a video game, but it resembled it like very slightly. You, you remember those Amiga games? I thought Amiga did a better job than that early um, Atari. I forget, not the, the Atari 2600, of course, but the Atari computer too. Um, that the uh, first consumer computer, I forget the name of it, but it's like, I don't know. It, I think that probably uh, RK1UP will probably get the Raspberry Award for worst product launch for a home uh, for 2021, at least in that area. Their pinball will do extremely well, I think. Um, uh, that's going to be a tough race, though, dealing um, with, you know, there's... You know, this, this competition is pretty good, too. So, anyway, RK, why not? Nothing against you. I own a lot of your stuff. I have your Star Wars. I got your Space Invaders. I got your um, Bad Dudes. I have your Marvel Superheroes, your NBA Jam, your Big Buck World, two pinballs, your um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, your Golden T. That's not you. Your Rampage. So, Final Fight, Pac-Man and your Sega um, Outrun. And then over here, I have my, the best game, in my opinion, and that's the um, I Arcade, and my second favorite cab, which is the MVSX. But I really love the pinballs that I love. Okay, I have been on here way too long, longer than I've ever been on here. Guys, thanks a lot, and uh, Arcade will out, and take care. I like holding the camera up because it shows how I really look. When I hold it down, it makes me look like blown up for some reason. But see, when I'm up here, it looks different. Now, maybe it's just my screen does it. I'm going to check this out when I watch the video. Take care, guys.